Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. Today we are going to be going over a dogman sighting out of Canada from early August of 1996. The sighting report comes from a dogman sighting database. The witness of this event stated that he lives on a sizable piece of land near Deadwood, Alberta, Canada. He raises and breeds horses for a living. Well, he will also board them for local owners. That it was in early August of 1996 when he was awoken one night by the sounds of panicking horses, saying that the horses sounded like they were being attacked by something, or at the very least something had them really spooked. So at this time, the witness says he grabbed his high-powered spotlight. While heading out the door, he also grabbed his 20-gauge shotgun. Then he headed out towards the sound of the horses. The witness said that it should be noted that his dog wouldn't go outside with him. That whatever had the horses going off also had the dog too scared to go with him. Even though his dog was trained to run off any predators that came around. So this was very unusual and unexpected of the dog. Now as the witness approached a corral that held several Shetland ponies, that he spotted some movement. Turning on his spotlight, he started shining the beam over the corral. The witness says as he was shining the light that he came to one of the corners of the corral. As the light passed this corner, he says, he saw a huge timber wolf looking creature. With this really surprising him, he says he has never had any wolf problems before. But still, this wolf was making itself a problem that night. So the witness says he yelled at the creature, Hey, hey, get the hell out of here. With the witness saying that what happened next shocked and stunned him that this creature spun around and looked right at him. Then this thing stood straight up on its hind legs. While the witness estimated that it stood around six and a half to seven foot tall, with this creature's fur being jet black in color. With the light shining on this creature, the witness said that its eyes shined a greenish yellow. Upon seeing this creature, he pointed his shotgun at it. At the same time, the witness says he pulled back both hammers. He says, as the creature witnessed this, it started emitting a growling sound, with him describing it as a somewhat guttural growl, that at this moment he remembers whispering to himself, Oh my God, this isn't possible that he just kept saying this over and over to himself. While he was saying this to himself, this creature started going into a crouched position. The witness said that he took this moment as it was going to lunge at him. So he says that he fired the shotgun at this creature. At this time, he says that the creature dropped back down to all fours. Then it just bolted off out of his view. With this creature now out of his sight, the witness began to get a very uneasy feeling. With every second that this thing was out of his sight, he became more uncomfortable, feeling as if he was being watched and sized up at this point. Then he described a fear that just washed over him. So he says that he fled back towards his home just as fast as he could move. He started to call the police, but that he quickly put that out of his mind. Like the witness said, what could you tell them? Hey, I just fired my shotgun at a werewolf. So yeah, I'm with the witness on this one. Having the police going all over your place looking for a dead body or something because I doubt they would just take your word that it was a werewolf. The witness does think he hit this creature when he shot it, though, but knows that the damage would have been minimal. 
due to he was only using a number seven birdshot, saying that the worst thing that might have happened to this creature was that the pellets caused some stinging pain. This sighting lasted for 45 seconds to a minute, the witness thinks. Now, as far as the distance to the creature upon the sighting, he says he was around 40 yards or so. Now, this witness doesn't want his name or anything else that may give up his identity. That he doesn't want the headache that this sighting could bring him. That he's not crazy and doesn't want to look that way to anyone else. Now, I truly think that this witness saw something that night for sure. So what do you all think on this one? I hope you enjoyed this one. So till next time, stay safe and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.